Hello, uh, bear with me one moment while I just refresh my computer screen to make sure I'm in the right place. Um, just had a bit of a glitch. I thought I'd um, thought I'd done what I needed to do to be able to go live in this group as my um, as my page, but it doesn't seem to still doesn't seem to let me. So just bear with me one moment while I. Well, I just get the other screen up because um, otherwise I won't be able to see if anyone's joining or any comments and um, you might not be able to see them anyway because sometimes it just doesn't let you. Okay, right, I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, okay, hi there. Hopefully we're okay and we're in the right place. Um, thank you for joining me today. It is the 21st of May. I can't believe we're nearly six months through this year already. And uh, I've got just a, a very simple card, simplish card to make today with you, but um, I thought what I'd do first of all, we've got a few things going on. Today is free shipping day on, um, now I've got to get this round the right way. I have put a post on, I think it's 60, 60 pounds worth. Shipping's normally 6.95, so it's a good, good saving. Um, and I am like this close to going back to being a silver demonstrator, so, yeah, if anyone's got any orders they uh, they're looking at place placing then today's a good day because obviously you get free shipping as well so and i would really love to be back at a silver demonstrator i've sort of yo-yoed between um silver and bronze elite for most of my time as a demonstrator and uh, yeah the last i think the last sort of 12 18 months have been pretty tough because uh, as everyone's got cost of living issues and that, I um, I really do appreciate every single order that I get from people. So if you do have anything to place, do it today. Get free shipping. Brilliant. Um, if you've got a big order to place, then um, we have a brilliant starter um, offer on at the moment. It's always 99 pounds but this month only you get an extra 78 pound 50 i think i worked out as 70 78 50 or 78 25 um worth of goods um they're all the in colors and what i'll do is i'll turn the camera around and i'll show you bear with me hopefully i won't knock the camera out of place doing this i have to put it back up straight so you can not see it on there at the moment let's just get that out of the way okay so the starter kit okay Ooh. you basically i'm trying to see if i've got a image of what you get here so you get five in colour stamp pads. You get um, matching cardstock, the designer series paper, and also the uh, white markers. So I've got some of those bits around. These are the white markers. And there, uh, you can use these as to ink your um, ink your stamps as well. But you've got a a bullet tip on the one end and a brush tip on the other. They're really good for 
journaling if you're a scrapbooker like I am I use these to write my journal notes and stuff um, and then the the brush tip is great I mean some people can do really fancy writing and that with them I'm not one of them um, but they're great for colouring they're um, great for you know if you want to sort of like do part of a, a stamp in one colour and then part in another or multiple colours you can use the brush tips easily to paint the stamps so it's a really good offer it is 99 pounds you get 130 pounds worth of product of your choice out of the new catalog you also then get the 78 pound whatever it is for all of this in colour product so you get all of that free you do also get a grid paper pack i think it's all business supplies the rest of it but you get uh, so you get various things on the on the business supplies that's all free and of course free postage so it is a really good offer it's a great way of getting lots and lots of products for 99 pounds and um and there is no there's no obligation to remain a demonstrator you would remain for uh if you're joining now you would remain a demonstrator until the end of september um i think it's the end of september let me just work that out We've just gone into, yeah, I think it's the end of September. So you'd get um, up until the end of June and then the next three months um, where you would be able to place your own orders and get 20% discount. So that's a, a really good offer, but you don't have to do it and you don't have, you know, you don't have to place your own orders. You don't have to meet quarterly minimums and that you can just go back to ordering as normal okay so that's um that's that and of obviously free shipping today um so this is on i can yeah it's 60 60 pounds or 75 euros worth and it finishes in the uk at 11 p.m tonight because obviously we have the um the time zone difference so it's one minute to midnight in europe and it's one minute to 11 p.m tonight in the uk okay so that's two great things going on well worth well worth uh, looking into on those Okay, so we'll get on with uh, some crafting now. I haven't put a white insert in here, I've just realised, but um, this is the type of card we're going to make today. It is a pinwheel card. Now, I've not made one of these before this one. The pinwheel cards I've made in the past have been the tower ones that are sort of 3D, but this, this is really, really pretty and can be made using... You know, tiny scraps they're only one cent one inch square um scraps of designer series paper so it's great for making your scrap using up your scraps i'll pop that up there out the way now i've got three i've got two blue and one pink just simply because it was what i picked up um dsp wise so i'm going to start with this one card base is the usual size so it's eight inches by five and three quarters and it's scored at four inches i will put all of the um centimeter measurements on my blog as well okay so that's the, the card base i'm going to pop that out of the way when I go through the rest of this we then have two layers one for the front one for the inside 
and they are three and three quarter inches by five and a half. Okay. And then two little squares that are two and a quarter inch square. And then we have eight one inch square pieces of DSP. Now I've chosen this um, lovely flowery pattern and then a less busy pattern for the alternate ones. Okay, let's pop those out of the way a minute while I show you how we how we do this. I've got a bit of glue on there from somewhere. Okay, so if you grid paper or you can do it by eye, line up the first one so that it's square. And then I'm just going to put a blob of glue on. Like so, and then this one needs to sort of be, you can use the grids just to line it up rough, as roughly as, you know, as you can really by, I'm tending to do it by eye, but I'm using the grids to make sure it's somewhat straight. Okay, so that's the first piece then what you're going to do with these is we're going to place them alternately into the corners on the first piece that you stick down you just want to do just want to glue one edge so that we can tuck We can then tuck it in afterwards. And then you can glue the whole of the next piece down. And try and do it so that you've got an even, even border going around the outside. And obviously, if you've got a directional pattern, you will need to take note of what it looks like. These aren't too bad because they're flowery, so you can just stick them, stick them down. On the one that I made earlier, this one has got um, lavender stems so i've sort of done those so that they look as though they're standing up in um in the right sort of order rather than being upside down okay nearly there with this one it really is quick and easy to do this card but it's very effective Okay, so now we've got the last one and it's going to go under there. Just going to pop some glue on. And then prising this bit up so that I can get in there with that one. Okay, you can then pop a bit of glue under here. Just to hold that down. And as you'll see, you've got a tiny little gap in the middle, but that's fine because from that, um, let me just find the right ones. You can stick, stick something pretty in it. Sorry, these are quite noisy. Opening the cellophane bags. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to just pop one of these lovely iridescent 
sequins in the middle. Okay, so so you see that like that. Okay, so that's the bit to go on the front. Now the stamp that I'm using, this is an online exclusive. So obviously if you are um, placing orders, don't forget about our online exclusives because there's some really lovely stuff in there. Um, this is one of the stamp sets, which, you know, I really love this stamp set and I've used it quite a few times. Um, it's happy anniversary, congratulations, happy birthday, a million thanks, speedy recovery, and there's even a save the date for invitations. You will need quite a long block. Um, I'm trying to think which block this is, but I sometimes they say on them. Oh, yeah. So it's an I block, this one. I'm just going to. Stamp over a few times and then stamp it on there. Okay, so it is also long enough to go that way, but I like it like this. Don't want to go getting loads of glue everywhere else, um, blue ink everywhere else, so just pop that down. Now our inks do dry really quick. I mean, you can see I've only just stamped that and I'm rubbing it to stick it down and it's it's not smudged at all. So it's, they do they do dry really quick. And then I'm going to just pop that roughly again using my eye to line it up. Gonna pop it like that. Now this bit you can stamp it again with the same greeting or you could use a different one, it's up to you. I'm gonna use the same one, but I'm also going to get just a tiny piece of the designer series paper. Let me pop that, that away first of all and I've got this out earlier, sorry. Just want the uh the right piece. It's always the same, isn't it? When you've put something away, you can't then find it and then I'm rolling over some um other designer series papers. So we need to pick that up. Right. So this is the same size. All I'm going to do is just cut a half inch, I think will be plenty, just a half inch strip. Which, um, which will then just go... Down on the bottom, and then this piece can go in. My glue's running out, but I don't want to open yet another one. I want to use up all the all the bottles that I've got started. Okay. So that's a really quick and easy one. I will do another one because I think they're so they are so lovely to do and they're so quick. I just need to clean my stamp. I don't I'm gonna be using this pink, so I don't want um blue ink. <laughs> On my 
nice new stamp pad. So this is pretty in pink. This is one of the new in colours. Okay, so and this is just some some bits of the um, designer series paper in the in colours. So again, I've got a white insert and a white front layer. I've also got an eyelash on there from somewhere, so I'm gonna. Okay, so just line that up. I mean, if you haven't got the grid paper or something that you can um, you know you can line it up with you can do it you can do it by eye quite easily but it is yeah it's a great great way of doing it now i've got i've chosen the start the spots and the stripes i don't know what it's going to look like because it's all quite the same colour so it'll be it'll be interesting to see again just gluing that one edge down on there now I've got a feeling I've got a few people watching but they're not coming up on the on my big screen so if you are if you are watching um then thank you very much uh, it's lovely to have some company if you would like to pop a comment in the comments field so that i can hopefully hopefully see who's about um i think there's i've got one comment from sharon hi sharon how are you Long time no see. Are you um are you into card making or crafts of any sort? Okay, so I'm gonna try and keep with the with the stripes i'm going to try and keep those around the same sort of way rather than them crisscrossing all over the place um just for a bit of uniform to it i mean you could put them yeah you don't have to put them up the same way you could put them however you like really Okay, so the last piece. And it's going that way. So I want to just lift this one up. And wiggle it about a little bit until I've got it in the right place. I quite like this actually, it's quite pretty. Get a blob of glue down in there just to put a bit too much in. I'll clean that off in a minute. Okay, let's leave that to dry a moment while we do some stamping. So it's pretty in pink. I'm not really a pink person, but the uh, The new colours are, you know, are really, really nice. I, I, my favourite is the Petunia Pop, I think, which is a, a purpley colour. So if you know me at all, then um, you know, even just by looking on my, my website and everything, it's purple is my favourite colour. So uh, there'll be no surprise there for some people. Okay, let's just close that up as well. 
and again we'll just find a um find a piece of design a serious paper not cut this one and it's just half an inch by three and three quarters doesn't like it because I'm lying it on its side instead of putting it back in the glue holder to okay so that's the middle bit there and then the front piece down now somewhere 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 I have some in colour gems let me find those here they are these are the these are the in colours so we've got the petunia pop which is more of a purpley pink this is the pretty in pink Summer Splash. Um, and this is a shamrock. Oh, I'm going to look it. I'm going to have to look that one up. Something shamrock, I think it's called. Bear with me, just one moment. What's it called? Shy shamrock. And then this one is peach pie, and that's really nice as well. So a great tool just for getting your uh, any of these off is this take your pick tool. And all you need to do is pull it on one side and push it. It's got some putty on the end. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got putty on the end to help lift it up. So that is that one. This is you can get refills for the the putty, so that's brilliant because you know I mean they're only they're only a few quid for a couple of them. Um, may as well show you all of this at the same time. You've got two ends. One's a pokey tool. One's like a little spatula, and that locks in there. Um, you also get. Let's see whether I've actually got the bits now. Here they are. Also get these. Um, so they're both like that's a smaller ball end and that's a larger one. Um, they're used for scoring and you can also sort of um, on a mat you can do sort of like do that and um, flower petals will lift up and stuff. There is also a brush for your delicate dies to get for getting all the bits out i'm not sure where mine is at the moment so i won't look at that and then this is another part of this um ordered separately but you've got a scoring blade a craft blade and um some like really looks more like the dentist equipment that does there's some really pokey little bits on there so it's a really great tool to have. Okay, so these pinwheel cards are 
all done really effective you could um, emboss the background if you wanted to add a bit of extra sort of texture to it but that's uh, that's the cards for today so i hope you've enjoyed watching those and you have a go say it uses up great scraps and um, makes quite a nice pretty card as well all right well take care for now and um, thanks for watching bye